What is up, everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical, back with another video for you here today. And today, we're just going to be doing a simple video quick here showing you how to remove a buffer tube and stock from your AR lower. So if you wanted to swap your buffer tube for a different one, a different stock adapter, um, so that way you can do that. Um, for my example here, I'm going to be putting on the classic M16 looking stock. So I do have a different buffer tube here that I need to install. So that's why I'm going to be removing this. But with that, let me just show you how to get this off quick so that way I can help you out. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our stock or brace, whatever you have here. And the easiest way to do this is pull it all the way back. And then there's this tab right here. Pull down. It's kind of tricky to do. Pull down with your fingers real hard. And then you can slide that right off and set it aside. All right. So the first thing we want to do to go ahead and remove the buffer tube and everything is let's get our buffer and spring out first. So to do so, push this detent down. You might want to use a screwdriver if you need to. Otherwise, this will just kind of shoot out on you here we go go ahead and pull that out and leave that aside then so our buffer and spring are out and then the next thing here i actually loosened this off camera i put it in my vise real quick uh but i want to do most of this on camera for you but you will need a armor's wrench like this to get around this castle nut like so and as you can see i already have this loose um but i did just break it loose real quick so we will need to take this off eventually but there's a couple of things i want to point out before we do that so as we remove this buffer tube now that we have our buffer and spring out there's this detent with a spring underneath it we need to be careful of and then also if you have a standard receiver like this one is there is the spring and detent right here leading to this rear takedown pin so we have to be careful of that too so as we take this off just note these might come out um, and those are the two main points to look out for. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and begin this process here. What I like to do is hold this plate here. If you have one, hold this plate to the receiver here, and then go ahead and start taking your castle nut off. And I like to bring this all the way to the rear. And with all that, with that to the rear now, we can go ahead and as you can see on this side, our spring and detent are going to go ahead and push out. So you can see right here, they're starting to push out. So I'm going to go ahead and wiggle this plate back. And you see here is our spring right there. And now what I can do is I'm just going to give this, uh, again, this is where we got to be careful. As I spin the buffer tube, it's going to loosen it and this detent might shoot out. So I'm going to keep my thumb on the detent and then slowly take this to the left, lefty loosey. There we go. Take it to the left here. Again, my thumb is on this detent here. And now this allows me to pull my takedown spring, which you can see is pretty bent there. And then hopefully my detent can fall out too. All right, with both that out now, the other thing here is let's get this detent out. So just be careful here. Keep taking this to the left, loosening it. And then now as I pull my thumb up, you can see, here we go. It didn't shoot across the room, which is good. And there is my buffer tube detent and spring. And I can go ahead and set that here as well. So now all of our parts are out that we had to worry about. And now it's as simple as just keep unscrewing the buffer tube here. And there we go. Now we have it off. So here's our buffer tube. We can go ahead and set that aside. And if we are ready to, we can go ahead and install our new buffer tube in there. So that does it for this video here today. Like I said, short, simple, to the point, just how to remove a buffer tube and stock and spring. So that way you can add something else on. If this was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate that. And if you have questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, have fun shooting, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.